Look at the swears on. There we are. You never lose it. You never lose it, Glenn. Everyone was in the studio, people were starting to clear away some of the equipment. And I walked behind uh, one of the television monitors and I heard a bit of commotion. I didn't sort of quite realise what was going on. And then I heard uh, someone shout for help. And as I looked, I could see someone laying on the floor. And I didn't know who it was. Uh, and just my natural instinct was to run over and have a, have a look and see if I could help. And it was, it was Glenn Hoddle who was laying on his back. I did CPR for about eight and a half minutes and I think the first paramedics were there within seven minutes and they were absolutely amazing. Um, they turned up and I had to continue doing CPR until they'd got all of their equipment connected. Um, and I'd managed to get a pulse uh, from Glenn and then obviously I connected up the defibrillator uh, and that obviously um, got his heart back into rhythm and then I continued CPR until the, the medics took over. I could tell by, by you know, feeling for a pulse that I'd got a pulse back and obviously the, the defibrillators are very good these days, they're fully automatic, they speak to you and it could sense that we'd got a pulse back and it decided to obviously give him a shock which gets the heart back into the correct rhythm and then it tells you and it told me to continue doing CPR. All of us in the studio were talking to Glenn and whilst he may not have necessarily been able to hear us. It was just support. It was support from the presenters, the cameramen, the sound men. We were all saying to Glenn, come on Glenn, you know, stay with us, stay with us. Um, and sometimes people can hear that when they've gone into, you know, into cardiac arrest and the after effects of it. I went and saw him a couple of weeks ago and he's, he, he looks great. He looks great. Um, I went and saw him at his home. Um, I went into his house. Uh, he, he, he welcomed me. And the first thing he did is he gave me a big hug and I immediately gave him a big hug back and he went all oh, not too hard because <laughs> he was still in a bit of pain. From and those broken ribs. From the, and the second thing he said to me was, you know, you broke seven of my ribs. Um, and we had a laugh. I don't think anything in, in anything that I've ever done is, is, is going to be topped by saving someone's life. Um, but this is Glenn Hoddle, you know. He is a hero to the football world and he's one of my heroes and to be able to, I was in the right place at the right time and as Glenn said in uh, an interview, it wasn't his time to go. I'll get that little piece of dandruff